Today, I tried to learn 3D scanning in just one day. I had zero experience, one scanner, and let me tell you, I learned an awful lot. Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, I'm going to be trying to learn to 3D scan in just one day. I've been heavily involved in 3D printing for almost six years now, but 3D scanning was something that I still hadn't tried out. I figured, what better way to learn than to give myself a very tight timeline. My goal for the end of the day is to convert one of these large chainsaw carvings into an SDL file that I can print out at home. So what am I using for this challenge? Well, Creality offered to send me their new Raptor Pro 3D scanner, and it seemed perfect for the task at hand. It supports scanning a wide range of sizes, from 5mm cubed all the way up to 4 meters. In the box, we have the scanner itself, the power cable with a variety of adapters for different countries, and finally, the cable that connects the scanner to your computer. On one end, we have a standard USB-A connector, and also a barrel jack for the power cable. On the other, it's just a simple USB-C connection. I really like how you can lock this cable down with the thumb screws. Since a scanner is something you're going to be moving around a lot, it's good to make sure that that cable never falls out mid-scan. Also included is a set of tracking dots that you can stick anywhere, as well as a sheet with the same dots printed on it. These dots are very useful for getting more accurate scans, but as you'll see, they aren't strictly necessary. For software, we're going to be using Creality Scan. We can open that up, plug in the scanner to the computer, and just like that, we're all connected and ready to go. Now that we're ready, I gotta pack this up and hit the road. Everything packs away nicely into the included Pelican case, which is great for storage, or in this case, transport. You might be wondering where we're going. Well, we're headed to the town of Chetwind. Chetwind is famous, or at least as famous as a small town in Northeast BC can be, for its chainsaw carvings. There are over 120 different carvings scattered all around town, and every year they host the International Chainsaw Carving Championship, which just so happens to be on today. Let's check it out. Every year, 12 carvers from all over the world get 35 hours to turn a large stump into a sculpture of their choice. I'm here on the morning of the second day, so a lot of the carvings are already starting to take shape. I know there's a good chance that essentially nobody watching has heard of this before, but believe me when I say this is a huge event in Northeast BC. This is the first time I've ever been able to go though. Alright, alright. This isn't a video about the competition, just about 3D scanning. Obviously, I can't scan anything that's being actively worked on, so I'm gonna need to look for a completed statue somewhere else around town. I don't really want to draw a lot of attention to myself scanning, so I'm looking for somewhere a little more off the beaten path. Now seems like a good time to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for turning ideas into reality. Whether you need high-quality PCBs, 3D printing, CNC machining, or laser cutting, PCBWay has the tools, materials, and fast turnaround to keep your projects moving. Right now, they're celebrating their 11th anniversary with exclusive coupons. Check out the link below to get started, and as always, thanks to PCBWay for supporting the channel. I stumbled on these statues in Spirit Park, and this dinosaur one looks like a prime candidate to be scanned. With me, I brought a folding table for my laptop, the scanner itself, a camping battery to run everything off of, and even a step stool to help me reach the top of these statues. Hopefully, with all of this equipment, I can at least get a decent scan. With the scanner connected to my laptop, all you need to do is click New Project, give it a name, and then you're all set to start scanning. The scanner itself will let you know if you are too close or too far from the subject. A blue light means you're too far, and a red light means you're too close. There's a nice gradient for everything in between. By making sure the light on the scanner is always green, you'd be pretty safe knowing you were getting a good scan. Being perfectly honest, I had a very rough time scanning this first statue. It was very tall, and I couldn't see my laptop from where I was standing, so I had no idea if everything was actually working correctly or not. Spoiler alert, it was not. After only about a minute of scanning, I ended up getting an error, and the scanner wasn't able to lock back on and keep going. Since this was my first scan ever, I'm willing to call that one user error. 
and the conditions were exceptionally difficult because I wasn't using any tracking dots, and the backlight from the sun probably didn't help either. Undeterred, I moved on to a smaller, more manageable carving in the shade. This made scanning a whole lot easier. How fitting, a raptor scanning a raptor. This was working much better. I could see my laptop screen and could reposition the scanner in case it ever got lost. Slowly but surely, I was able to build up a very nice looking scan. I learned that after 20,000 frames, the scan would automatically stop. This first scan was looking good, but I definitely missed a few spots on the back of the head and under the chin. I decided to try another scan and focus more on those areas. My second scan looked quite a bit better, and despite only using the scanner for an hour at this point, I felt so much more comfortable than when I started. So don't be scared if it feels a little awkward to use at first, it grows on you really quickly. In the end, it took between 15 and 20 minutes to scan the entirety of the statue. I saved the project in Creality Scan, packed up, and headed back home. Once I was back home, it was time to do a bit of processing on the mesh. This is the kind of thing I'm sure I could spend weeks learning, but since this is a one-day challenge, I'm going to keep it very, very bare bones. I can merge the two scans together using the Point Cloud Merge tool. Even though it says that the merge can only be used with, and I quote, more than two point cloud data, it still worked just fine for me with exactly two. You can see here we have the two scans, and we just click start at the bottom, and it does the rest for us. Now we have the best of both of our scans combined. I did a little bit of cleanup, removing some extra bits that were added to the scan. You can just select them and then delete them, easy as that. Then, we need to convert this point cloud to a mesh. I dropped the number of faces down from a million to 690,000, and made sure that hole filling and closure were checked. That way, I should have a solid mesh, and not just a bunch of non-manifold edges everywhere. I exported the mesh, and found the easiest way to make the rest of the changes was just inside of the slicer. I imported the file, and moved it down below the build plate until I only had the section I wanted. From there, I decided to also remove the claw by adding a modifier. That way, we just have the head. Slap some supports on that, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty solid print. Before we end, I want to talk a bit more about my thoughts on this scanner. First and foremost, I'm impressed with just how simple the workflow is. Obviously, it's not as simple as just pressing a button, but the fact that a complete beginner like myself can go from nothing to scanning a statue in just one day says a lot about how easy the Raptor is to use. I personally don't see myself scanning things super often, but it's great to have another tool in my toolkit for whenever a situation might arise. I think the scanner will come in super handy for DIY projects, where the models I design need to be integrated with physical stuff that I don't have a CAD file of. So those are my thoughts, what about yours? Have you tried 3D scanning before? What are your thoughts on the Raptor Pro? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, thanks so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully I won't be sick when I'm recording that one, but you never know. <laughs>